Okay, the stitch that I'm going to use to fill in the petals of this flower is uh, called a blanket stitch. That uh, stitch has a couple different names, but I have always known it as the blanket stitch. It's a little bit tricky to do on the curve, so I'm going to show you how to do it straight first. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my practice here. So I just drew two lines to show you how to do the basic stitch. So we're going to come up on the top line and you're going to go down in the fabric not parallel you don't want to go straight down you want to go off to the side a little bit so before you so pull your needle through but don't pull all of the thread through and you're going to come back up in that parallel position so now i want to be parallel to where i went down so i'm coming up on the top line but i'm in line with that bottom stitch notice that my thread is going to get caught when i pull my needle up which is what you want it makes kind of like that upside down reversed L shape. So now that I've got that, I'm going to come down. Now I want to keep my stitches along the bottom consistent, about the same length that they are up at the top. So I'm going to come down here. Notice this length is about the same as that length. So I'm going to pull down. And before I pull my thread, I'm going to come up parallel. I'm going to catch that thread. And there we go. So I'm just going to continue that stitch. So this is called a blanket stitch. It's commonly used to um, do edging, um, but it's also an embroidery work. So like I have, um, oops, so now I'm finishing my stitch. I got to talking. So when you're done and you don't want to do any more, you just tack that stitch down like that. If you make a mistake, you can take it out, or if you need to start another one, just come back up in that same spot and go down next on the line and then up parallel again, catching it. So now that I'm at the end of my line, I want to finish it kind of like I just did accidentally and just tack it down over the side. So as I was saying, my grandmother um, used the blanket stitch around some baby blankets that she had made um, out of like flannel and stuff. So it's commonly used as uh, edging, but obviously you can use it as an embroidery stitch. So now that I've showed you the basics on how to do it on a straight line, we're gonna come back over to the flower and I'm gonna do it on a curve. So again, this stitch I'm using three strands of DMC floss. I'm gonna come up on a part of my flower petal. I'm gonna come down on my center circle that I'm using for my center of my flower. So now when I do my blanket stitch, it's gonna be a little bit different because I'm not on a straight line. I'm gonna use like a pivot point along the center. You'll see how, as I get going. Okay, so I'll up parallel, pull my thread so it's caught. I'm gonna come down, see my, because we're gonna fan out the stitch, my stitches are actually gonna be closer together in the center and a little bit farther apart at the top of the petal. And it's easier for me to turn my fabric. So I'm gonna pivot my work as I'm going along here so you can see what I'm doing. This stitch, I'm actually gonna go right back down in that same hole. And you can do that to help secure a good uh, pivot point. And I'm trying to keep my stitches along the outside consistent but it's a flower, so if you're off a little bit, it'll be okay. Oops. Again, just working my way up, making sure I catch my thread. want to be fancy about it or if you were taught different some people were taught to keep their needle on the top and then wrap their thread instead of pulling down and catching it on the top so if that method works better for you please feel free there's no right or wrong again I go back to my what I know is I go all the way down to the bottom and then come all the way back up to the top I'm gonna try 
how to remember to try th new things. Wrap my thread around. Again, keeping my th needle on top. Wrap my thread around. And just keep working your way around your flower petal. Once I get back, oops, so you want to be careful that you don't pull your thread too taut, otherwise it'll not give you that nice uh, edge along the top, so you just kind of play with the thread a little bit. Okay, so now that I've made it all the way around, I'm just going to tack it down, otherwise you could come back down here again and give it one more, but I think mine's kind of full, so I'm just going to tack it. And there you go, the blanket stitch.